Hello everyone and welcome back to Everything Tech. Today we're taking a look at the Syntec 63-in-1 Precision Screwdriver Set. Now sometime last summer I decided it was time to do some upgrades on my dad's computer and I didn't have any screwdrivers that would uh, be useful for me in taking apart my dad's computer. So while at my trip to the parts store to get some parts that I needed, I ended up picking up this PT performance um, performance tool 33 piece precision screwdriver set which at the time did its job it did provide me with the necessary Phillips head screws and it does have a variety of different uh, screws here and I'll turn it around so you see because I don't know the name of all of them and it does come with the, the screwdriver here a little flexible extender rod here and a magnifying glass as well as the screw bits there which are very high quality and very nice except it didn't have the tools all the tools that I really needed and uh, if you want to check this one out you can look for it under PTW9178 this is a really great kit but keep in mind that it's not going to have the screwdrivers you need in order to take apart a MacBook or even an iPhone if that's the sort of thing you are wanting to repair. So I decided to scour the internet and I scoured the Amazon website and found this one here. And it comes in a variety of colors like blue, gray, I think even black, red or whatever. And I picked it up in gray because I already had yellow. So I wanted to have something that was a little more... A distinction to it but that's just all personal preference and here it is this is the uh, scientist 63 in one precision screwdriver set and you can see there are all the different screws and bolts and bolt drivers that it has it even has a sim eject tool which is really neat and it does come with a one year after sales service support or like a warranty for one year and it did come with a little card a little warranty card that says if you register the product you get an additional three months but I've since lost that card and it's a very nicely built box that it comes in and here I'm gonna have some light reflection so you can see how much flex and I'm pressing really hard you can see barely enough flex so you know that if you stick this in a toolbox it's not really gonna damage and I just gave it a little shake there so you can see that all the little drivers in there the driver bits uh, don't move and when I did get this in the mail I kept hearing that shaking sound and I thought to myself, oh no, here, all the bits fell out and I'm gonna have to find a way to put them all back. But much to my surprise, they're all in their place. And here on the side, you can see the latching mechanism, which is made of aluminum, I believe. And uh, it's very nicely built, nicely constructed. And on the side here, you can see slots for the different driver bits there so they don't move out of place. And it does have a little button here that you just slide back and all the different drivers come up in a really neat fashion and uh, you pick out the drivers you need and each one is numbered and labeled properly and you do have bolt drivers in every row there and opening it up you can actually see them there so you can drive bolts in whatever sizes pertain to that and here we have the screwdriver it's a very nicely designed screwdriver i feel like i've seen this design elsewhere in other kits but it is a very nicely designed uh, bullet style design i call it bullet style because it looks like a little bullet there and if you do twist that little tip you can get rid of the extender here which adds a little bit of extra torque if you need it and the tip is also magnetized so you can attach all your screws to it so that they don't fly out anywhere or get lost so if you need that it's there now if you're trying to have a and if you're trying to screw in something that's a little more harder to reach they do include a flexible arm it's uh, flexible as you can see there and this tip here goes into your screwdriver like so that way if you have a harder to reach area let's say you have to get a screw that's on this side here but it's pushed up against by something in between there you can jimmy your way through and with this and turn it and you can see there I'm kind of trying my best to turn it and it turns the right way so it's nice to know that's included I probably will not be using it and this last piece here is I believe they call it a drill attachment so that if you want to attach this to an electric power drill you can and you can use all these bits here because I think they're non-standard size I don't have anything to try it with but you can see that one of these ends goes directly into your screwdriver electric screwdriver and this other end here 
goes into this little bit here. It's small enough to take it in and it works. So if you want to use a power drill to unscrew some of the screws on your computer or wherever, then it's easier to do it through an electric screwdriver, you can. The next thing that it comes with is a little pry tool here. You can tell this is more tech oriented because it does come with tools that you need to take things apart like a phone. This pry tool here will allow you to get in and under the screen so you can pry it off or if you need to pry anything off, this is the perfect tool for the job. And another great tool for the job would be this pick here. Uh, this pick will allow you to get under a screen. For example, I'll use here my Apple Watch. You want to get in, in under there, you would just get in there, pry, get in there real good, and then eventually just, just peel off the display that you're trying to remove or remove the adhesive. And then if we look down below, this is where we're going to have our pentalobe screw set. It comes in a 0.8, 1.2 and the 1.5. Now these bit drivers here, and of course they're in the order that I mentioned them, 0.8, uh, 1.2, and the point, the 1.5. These are necessary in order to repair Apple devices. So this one here is good enough for iPhones from, I believe the iPhone 5 onward. And then this bit here, the 1.2, is for taking apart MacBook Airs and MacBook Pros. I'm not exactly sure what the bigger one is for, but these two here are necessary for opening up iDevices like iPhones, iPads, and even MacBooks. So that this this here is uh, one of the reasons why I decided to purchase this kit. And of course, the addition of all the extra bits is just a plus. And it's nice that they also include a SIM eject tool because sometimes you just want to take out the SIM and some repairs do require you to remove the SIM and SIM tray from your phone. And they don't include SIM eject tools anymore in phones. So it's good to have that little bit there that helps. So in conclusion, I am very impressed with the build quality of this product, considering the price point and considering that there is competition out there that is far more expensive than what this uh, screwdriver set demands. And uh, you may want to check it out if you're looking for a, a repair kit, but don't really want to be spending too much money. I paid about $13 for, for this set here, and I'm very impressed with the quality of the bits here. They're all very finely machined. I went through and checked most of them just to check to see how well they are machined. And they are very well machined. And even the hand tool here, the little screws, the, the screwdriver is very nicely built. It's got nice weight to it. Of course, it does have the extender there but it's very nicely built. One of the main cons problems that I do have is that it's kind of hard to get out of here if you do put it in there because it's in there real nice, but not really something I want to really openly complain about because it's nice that it's in there real nice so it won't unseat itself. You can see there are things flying all over the place, but I do like the inclusion of these uh, electronic specific repair tools like the guitar pick and the, the spludger tool here. Most kits don't really come with that, so it's nice to see that included. So in conclusion, I'm impressed with the device. I love the quality, the build quality, and the fact that I have most, if not all, the screws I will ever need to repair an electronic device. So with that said, I'll leave a link down in the description to this product if you want to check it out. Uh, thank you all for watching, and see you all in the next video.